you gonna last do? video, last video, <laughs> Kareen, it's the last video. <laughs> Woohoo! Party, <laughs> party time, excellent, party on. <laughs> Party on, Marsha. Party on, Corrine. All right. All right, we are looking at the female anatomy, um, and we are going to start from the inside portion. So we're looking at the ovary. You can kind of see it deep down there in the pelvic cavity. That is nice and hidden as compared to its friend, the testes on the male, which is definitely not hidden. No, not so much. Um, and the ovary is going to be, again, releasing estrogen and progesterone and then the eggs. So when the egg is ovulated, it's going to be caught by the catcher's mitt, which is the fimbriae. Um, the fimbriae are going to kind of gather the egg and bring it down into our fallopian tube or the oviduct or the uterine tube. Take your pick. Um, now the egg would then travel down into the uterus. Okay, so the uterus is great, big, and muscular. It has three major layers to it. The parametrium on the outside, the myometrium, which is lots of muscle, and then the endometrium, which is going to be the lining in the inside. Now there are also three regions to the uterus, much like our stomach, the fundus, the body, and then the cervix is going to be the bottom portion, kind of the opening and or, or the exit of the uterus, depending on what's coming in, what's going out. Um, now the cervix is going to be the boundary into the vagina. So the vagina is either going to be an exit for baby or entrance for the penis um, and is going to basically open up into the outside world. Now under the under before <laughs> the vagina, there are two pieces of labia. There is the labia minora and then the labia majora, which are also um, synonymous with the scrotum on the, on the male. Now, way up in the front there, we have the clitoris. Um, the clitoris is going to be basically the same as the penile um, erectile tissues, and we'll also have a prepuce right in front of it, little tiny guy there. Um, and then the whole area here, basically at the opening of the vagina and the urethra, is going to be called the vestibule. Now I want to take just a moment to clarify, because this is a mission in my life, I, that you all know that females have three holes down here. The first of those is when you go number one. Okay, this is the urethra, where it's connected to the bladder, which is where urine will exit the body. Number two is the vagina, which is where baby will exit the body. And number three is where your feces will exit the body through the rectum. So three holes, very important. One, two, three. Front, back. <laughs> and we're done! Ta-da! Uh,